Good morning trendsetters, Dano here from Dano's channel, I'm back at ya, oh one more again. Right, for those of you that know me, or have been subscribed to this channel for a while, you'll know that I'm all about experiences, getting out and about off that couch, and seeing what life has to offer. What are we up to this week Dano, I hear you ask. So this week finds us on our way down to Bustleton in Western Australia. When we get down there, we are going to go for a ride in this bad boy. All right, I'd like to introduce Darren, which is our pilot. Darren, say good day to our YouTubes. Good day, YouTubers. My name's Darren, and I'm the pilot for today and every other day. So basically, what we've got here is a 1942 Tiger Moth. Uh, it was manufactured and designed by the English and pretty much anything that the English have built are over-engineered, extra heavy and any engine that they've ever built leaks oil. This plane is 80 years old and we still haven't found all the oil leaks. There's a bit of a gag. So 1942, it was finished, it came off the production line in Melbourne. It was put together or assembled in Melbourne at the Holden factory. The engine is a Gypsy Major engine and on there is a plaque saying that it's manufactured by Holden. So really, we're driving a HZ Ute, tough old jigger. Anyway, so this was put together and it was um, earmarked or stenciled to go to Rhodesia, which was the rear echelon of the African campaign. So any of the Australian and Commonwealth pilots that went over there at, to fly as pilots were finished off in these in Rhodesia. The war had finished before it actually made it over to Rhodesia, so it was then put into war storage. It was in there for a while, then later on it was sold a surplus to the uh, Royal Aero Club of Queensland. It stayed there for a couple of years as a trainer and then it was purchased by a company over here in WA. It came over here as an agricultural, as a, as a crop duster. It was purchased by John Forrest Proprietary Limited. They operated it south of Geraldton for a while, basically putting super phosphate on uh, paddocks. Sold to another company doing the same sort of stuff. Um, so this aeroplane here, the front cockpit was then converted to a hopper. So that just had bags of super, bag and a half of super in Am there. Am I going to be sitting in ship? No, we've tidied that up since then. Okay. But so after it finished its life as a uh, as a agricultural aeroplane, it was refurbished. The cockpit or the the hopper was taken out. The cockpit restored. It's been in private hands since then, and uh, basically it is as it is now. Been refurbished three times. This time here, it's pretty good. Okay, we've got modern wings on it, which uh, modern wings are exactly the same, but the internal structures are a lot better than what they were back then. The covering is a fabric. It's a polymer type of uh, material, whereas the old stuff was cotton with a doping on top of it. Yeah. This is the polymer UV stuff, a lot better. A lot more waterproof too. 130 horsepower engine. Feels like 30 horsepower. If I often long for more horsepower. It's don't, an inverted engine. Don't we all? Yep, inverted engine, which means it has no sump. This is our sump here. Okay, it has an oil pump, pumps the oil on the top, flows back down and pumps back into this reservoir here. The rocker covers hold actually oil. So when the rockers go back and forth, it's like a splash bath. And that lubricates the top or the underside of the engine, which would normally be the top side. So that's how the rocker covers, or the rocker covers full of oil, and that's how the rockers are lubricated. The propeller is a synthetic composite propeller. It's exactly the same pitch as the old ones, okay? A little bit tougher and tighter than the wood ones. No termites in this, okay? So it's pretty good. These propellers are, uh, have, a, uh, have a life, or not so much of a life. They don't have a life, but it's on condition. So as long as the propeller is in sound condition, there's no chips, dents, or cracks in it, it'll last as long as the aeroplane. Right. Okay, so that's that. So this is the front end. This is the business end. This is what does it all for us. The rest of the aeroplane is basically matchsticks and cotton, and that gets us flying. These aeroplanes, when they went off to war, were the basic trainer for all the pilots. Okay, so if they were a Commonwealth pilot, they were going into either a Hurricane, a Spitfire, a Mustang, a Wearaway, a Windshield, anything like that. They pretty much all started off from these. The reason for that is they're a very stable platform. Okay, two wings, very stable. Most of the guys that learned to fly or were going off to war. They're basically country boys with no flying experience at all, so they had to give them the best opportunity to learn to fly before they sent them off to die. Okay? So most of the guys that flew in these and transitioned to the Spitfires usually had only about 50 hours of flying time. 
then they were in combat. So they were going from an aeroplane that flew 60 knots up to an aeroplane, you know, 300 odd knots, very fast aeroplane, and expected to kill their, you know, their counterparts up there. Pretty tricky, pretty gutsy sort of stuff. Okay. Nice. So our flight today is the Geograph flight. We'll be taking off here. We'll be hit taxiing on out to runway 03. We've got to contend with the Jetstar and all the other pilots that flew in for the barbecue here. So it makes it a little bit tricky finding a slot. Yeah, aircraft just landed Do you want to pause on for a sec. Two, yep. Uh, you got the challenges to stand here. Uh, you got it broken uh, down one by two uh, here. Oh. The Jetstar's delayed. You have got a brand new uh, Bell. Charlie. 407 demonstrator thing sitting out there ready to go. All right, so we've got a fair bit of traffic. We've got a fair bit of traffic, yes. a bit of broken stuff, but we'll make our way around it. So we'll take off here if everything works our way. We'll take off to 03. We'll make a left hand turn. We'll go over the marina. You'll get to see that. Depending on the traffic, it'll depend on what altitude. But basically, once we get over the marina, we're over the coast. We'll make a left hand turn, head down the coast 500 feet, go to the jetty, and then we'll parallel the jetty. Once we get around the head of the jetty, I'll guarantee you that they will, you will see four whales. Wow, lovely, I'm looking forward to that. Going, four they're whales. not the two-legged ones, are they? No, they're not the two. They are the genuine whales, four of them. Even though it's out of season, every day I fly, they're there. Nice. It's a looking guarantee. Looking forward to that. It's a dad joke. They're painted on the jetty. All right. So once we're at the head of the jetty, then we'll make a bit of a track, a 45-degree line back towards the coast. We'll track down the coast at 500 feet till we get to a place called Siesta Park. Left-hand turn. We'll come in on over the land and then we'll head back this way here. Hopefully, the traffic will be gone. Right. There you go. Right, right buddy. Let's uh, let's go flying. <laughs> you. All right. All good. Cheers, mate. Thank you. All good. Yep, no worries, mate. Here we go.
feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of shit come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the fucking hours It takes to get some power Don't be fucking sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And fuck all the doubters They're just fucking downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm pissed off at these fucking clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Fade 
you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray Fuck yeah, that was great. Awesome. Well, there you go, viewers. We're fighting a tiger moth. I can honestly say I cannot recommend it enough. It's a uh, yeah, really unique experience. If you'd like to give this sort of thing a go yourself, give Darren a call at Tiger Moth Adventure Flights down there in Bustleton. He'll look after you. If you wanted to throw a video package, in on top of it as well. Mention Dano's channel and he'll knock $10 off the price of that for you. Alright viewers, about to head into town and um, have a bit of something to eat and then head home. I say it quite often, don't sit at home on the couch wasting your life. Get out there and experience what life has to offer. Suck the guts out of it. Start to live a little. That's it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.